As firefighters attempted to beat back the intense flames on the upper decks of the cargo ship, several were overcome by the heat and smoke, with a few airlifted to the hospital. Ultimately, the fire claimed the lives of Newark firefighters Wayne Brooks Jr., 49, and Augusto Akabu, 45. I just want the world to know that we just lost two of our best here in the city of Newark. This tragedy is a painful reminder of the dangers our firefighters face and their remarkable courage. Probably that morning didn't think that they would be fighting a fire on a ship of 5,000 cars, something that they had not trained for and would not return home that evening. Though the exact cause of the fire was still under investigation, Newark officials say it began with about seven of those cars on fire on the 10th deck of the ship. As soon as they arrived, the flames spread to the 11th and 12th decks. In that chaos of backing off, Brooks and Akabu were lost. Rescuers arrived from around the region, including the FDNY. Mayor Ross Baraka described the intense and frantic effort by first responders to beat back the flames and search for the missing in the sweltering heat. Come out of a fire, take all of their things off, complete exhaustion from the point of passing out, then putting the stuff back on minutes later and getting in line to go back in again. Uh, I saw this over and over and over again. Newark's firefighters do receive some training on passenger boat rescues, but nothing like this, city officials explained. Baraka says the port has its own small fire brigade, but Newark responds to anything major at the port. He's already asking the port authority if it's fair to expect firefighters to respond to port emergencies like this in the future. That's a long conversation that we're going to have from now until we get some real uh, resolution to what needs to be done as we move forward. A firefighter last died in the line of duty in 2007 in Newark, according to city officials. Coming up at 5, we will discuss what the owner of the cargo ship is saying. It sheds light onto exactly what happened leading up to the fire and the types of vehicles that were aboard the ship. Live from the port of Newark, Henry Rossoff, PIX11 News.